Hello everyone, it's Jonathan here, founder of Driving Academy. In today's video, we're going to be talking about why should truck drivers actually plan their trip before they actually get started. So, driving a truck is a little bit different than driving a car. If you really think about it, if you had a trip to kind of go down, maybe you want to go on a road trip, in many cases you make sure you got uh, fuel, make sure that your tire got air pressure, turn on the car, if the radio works and the AC is good, you're good to go in most cases, right? Now when it comes to driving a tractor trailer, it is going to be different. Tractor trailers take road trips every single day. That's what they get paid for, right? So that being said, we're going to tell you what the importance is and how to actually plan your trip before you actually get going. So this is not a video about pre-trip inspection or anything like that, but that is the first part of actually going on your trip. But before you actually even do the pre-trip inspection, you should be planning things out. So what should you be looking for? One, where are you going to go? right? you got to know where you are and where you're going to go. So you're going to put that into the GPS, kind of see how long it's going to take you and making sure that you're putting your brakes in between. Because when it comes to brakes, by law, you're going to need to take at least a 30 minute break within the first eight hours of driving. And you must understand that you can drive a maximum of 11 hours per day with a time clock of 14 hours, right? So that means once you start your driving, a timer starts and that's a 14 hour time clock. After that 14 hours are up, even if you only did nine hours of driving, you can't do any more driving. You're going to be limited to a maximum of 11, but a maximum of 14 hour workday, right? So that is the main thing that you want to plan for. How long is it going to get me to this destination? Where should I stop to sleep along this route? Uh, and really kind of plan that stuff out. The next thing you should be looking for is going to be weather, right? So especially in this time of year, I, I've talked to many truck drivers where in one trip they've gone for 30 degrees or 20 degree weather to the 80 degrees weather in Florida, right? So depending on what your trip looks like, depends on how you should equip your vehicle, depends on what you should wear and all that good stuff as well. As long as the heat is cranking, that means you can be in short sleeves all, all year round. Just make sure you put on a jacket before you leave because you know what your mother's going to say if she catches you outside in the cold with no jacket, right? So we talked about that. Uh, we talked about the trip, make sure that you're compliant with your hours. We talked about weather, which is self-explanatory. The other thing that you do want to watch out for is get yourself a map, right? So on the map itself, you want to make sure that you have a good idea of where you're going and kind of where you are along your trip. You can't trust the GPS for everything. What happens if you lose power? What happens if you lose connectivity to the satellite? You can't really use your car GPS on your phone either because all of a sudden there's something called bridges. And if you don't want to drive a convertible tractor trailer, you want to avoid bridges at all times, which means that sometimes streets get updated, sometimes streets get paved over, and now the bridge height is going to be a little bit different. So you always want to make sure that you're fully aware of what's happening. Also, say that there's an accident on the street or a natural disaster or whatever it is, when it comes to maps, uh, the GPS might not find the best route out there for you, but maps gives you that second best thing to kind of check out and make sure that, hey, maybe I should go this way to save some time. Maybe I should cut through here and to save some time that way. These are all things that you should do as a professional driver. If you think about it, airplane pilots do this every single time before they actually get into the plane and get started. You are at the same level as an airplane pilot. And did you know you actually get paid almost the same too? And if you become an owner operator, you actually get paid more than those pilots over there that, drive, that fly those big things. So consider yourself a professional, treat yourself like one. And if you're looking to get yourself a CDL license because you're looking to get yourself into a job, you first have to go to the best truck driving school in the country. That's where we are right here. One of the things that you should be aware of if your permit has been gotten after February 7th of 2022, by law you must go to a certified training provider, which means you have to go to a driving school. And why go to anybody who's less than us? I don't know. You might be a little, little cuckoo if you do that. But that being said, give us a call at 908-525-3609. We have training seven days a week available for you. We offer payment plans. All you need is $500 down to get started. And we could work out a payment plan for the rest. Now, we do uh, offer training, uh, like I said, seven days a week, and we're planning to open up locations nationwide, which means if you don't want to fly all the way to our location here in Linden, New Jersey, hopefully very, very soon you can actually check out the upcoming locations. If you want to see any locations that are upcoming, check out our website at cdldrivingacademy.com. Again, that's cdldrivingacademy.com. Thanks, and have a fantastic day. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel. It's really going to help us out. Click on that button. And if you want to continue yourself on your road to freedom, here's more videos to watch. There's endless amounts. Hopefully, we get to see each other one day very soon. Thanks.